There are things in this world that cannot be explained. Things only akin to the supernatural. I'm Grody Wales, star of A Bad Dream on Oak Street and Devil Monkeys 5 through 9. And I'm going to take you on a journey you cannot turn back from. Being the season, let us begin with one of the oldest legends of holiday horror, the Krampus. But for R. Scott McJoy, there was no legend, only hard reality. But if you see Santa's evil counterpart, those in the know say he likes to enjoy a bit of schnapps. My suggestion is to offer him a swig. Last Christmas, I locked up the entire house. Doors, windows, I checked the entire perimeter. Krampus came out of nowhere. He just appeared. Six foot eight, huge horns, fangs. He threw me in a bag and beat me with birch branches. Then suddenly, he runs off and I screamed out, Hey, where are you going? The woods can be a terrifying place, trees. But for two brothers, Clem and little Bra Beckley, they went looking for and found an ancient entity only spoken of in Whispers and Richard Gere movies. Is it an interdimensional alien with mastery over space and time? Or is it an ancient harbinger of death? I think it's best if I let the Beckley brothers explain. Knowing it was Christmas, we went to Point Pleasant in Ohio. In December 1967, one of their bridges collapsed. And in months before, hundreds of witnesses reported a large bird-like creature with burning red eyes. A Mothman. The what? Mothman. Say it again. Mothman. The Mothman. That's what I said. Yeah, you're right. I'll never forget, we went out there like 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Witnesses who've seen the Mothman said their eyes got burnt up all bloodshot. Like it was radioactive. I really want to fiddle a little, really want to fiddle a little. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so we went outside of town to the old World War II munitions area called the TNT area. And we synced it. It flew right at us like a pissed off pigeon. Now that you mention it, it did kind of look exactly like a pissed off pigeon. And, you know, we was too busy running and screaming and doing a whole lot of this. How would a tiny ass pigeon bring down a big ass bridge? No, you're right, you're right. How indeed. That's just the kind of logic you can't argue with. There's only one answer. It's because this shit be haunted.